power or the same strength. It's Quick aggression out towards C-Long. Flash goes through, and again, it's the flashes for KP to try and kick things off. Unfortunately, more now for the Shopify squad. Utility, not too great in this. They have the recon on Han to work with, but Cloud9, they've had time to set up a strong post plant. A drone from Annie, able to spot out the player, looking to play towards heaven, it not Han. Leave a recon bolt queued up here. Try and get some information on the retake. The smokes are out. In the, the dark covers. Oh, okay. KP can hop on into it, but doesn't find the kills. The frenzy gets a bit too wild. And with three remaining... Let's we'll see how that will work out, as it's both the duelists on Shopify to hold against the Cloud9 advance. And no real way to stop the control out towards A-Long. And that is the result of that. So two quick kills swing the way of Cloud9. One gonna be answered back by Panini, but unfortunately not alive for long. Can't back away from the squad. As it's down to the last two once more. A lobby control. You know there's gonna be more than one. Now Nova Pulse actually gonna force Lori forward to try and find a shot and unable to do so. So backed away. AP gonna hold tight and the information tools in the drone and in the trailblazer both gonna be taken down kp not spotted out for just a moment push into the smoke though panini bites off more than she can chew there Lori's able to trade one back with the knives in hand just goes a bit too high the crouch from jazzy secures a kill in response kp able to use that gate crash to get out of dodge and again it's a back and forth it's a one for one but now it's down to the last two here for shopify it's the rotators it's the Killjoy. It's the Sova. This time the situation a bit more doable. Only three members to worry about. And if they could find something nice and early. And obviously get things started. But the damage all swings away of Cloud9. Katsumi able to close out that kill onto Flower Phone with 17 health. On forced to back away once more. On this full loss bonus, so it actually looks like she's going to send it to Annie. Gonna close it out on the Plank position for using that ultimate. Nobody here to answer. And actually gonna hop on over towards A, but inside the smoke again. KP had the read. Unfortunately, just doesn't have the shots on target. And it's Katsumi for two. As Panini trades it back across the map, Han is able to grab one. Alexis hops on the board again to swing things in favor of Cloud9. And just when Shopify start to get things going, they just can't close out. This time, though, Flowerful and Han once more. The last one's left alive flowerful is able to find that first kill it was once a 2v4 mimi and it was a 2v3 now it's a 2v2 but in the 2v2 alexis gonna go aggressive and be sat down that's the spike down and it's full hp here on the sovas it's han it's annie flowerful bringing up the rear but still a thought a thought for annie to go back and clear long and short not too sure no yeah spike was picked up Big plant there. Lockdown actually going to be used here. Annie looking for the plant is going to have to get out of dodge or quite possibly use that Hunter's Fury. Shock Dart down to 46 HP. A technical pause, Mimi. A technical pause. And this is where we could probably finally see the first round for Shopify. Hunter's Fury going to go just a bit wide. Nano Swarm to stop things. And that spike not planted in a great spot here for Annie. Has to get on the side as Flowerful sticks to defuse the kills to come on through. And it's Flowerful to close it out. To be used down towards well, short. Miss. It is, and you know, if you were if you're watching some of that tech that we saw earlier, I believe in the open qualifiers as well as in the Masters, you would know just how. Not gonna be the case. Not gonna be the case. Excuse me. We do have a player advantage. One of the first we've seen in a really long time for Shopify. So with that one player up, a detainment came on through. So they had to back away. They have to regroup. It's another A plant here for Cloud9 with three remaining. On the shadow is going to be used. Try and get some information on the site. Seekers used for the information as well. Alexis going to find the kill on to the Sova. Chopping it down to a 3v3. But low HP. Alexis and Annie need to be careful. As does Kat. She peeks out. She swings too far. She gets taken down. A 3k for Alexis. It's all up to Panini. And then once you get on the site, you should have, obviously, that firepower to sit those upgraded pistols down. The gate crash actually spotted. It's going to be taken down, but flowerful. Puts one into the side ahead, the head of Mel, and doing so finds another Flowerful having herself a game here, especially with the Sheriff. Showstop gonna go out towards CT, not gonna find anything just yet. It's a third for Flowerful, and she is still up, still running. Panini able to find the train kill onto Annie. A 1v2 situation, but only 80 health between both players, and it's Katsumi to go multi kill again. Panini locking it down, gonna step onto the spike, look to go halfway here. Cat surely to try and spray on through as they dance through the spike panini doesn't find the shots he is is now open 
in terms of no vulnerability. You're not going to be giving yourself up unless you're just dashing on through like that. Jazzy to find the first down to 70 health, though. Needs to be careful. They look to get pinched. It's not a B take. They're going to push all the way through B. They're going to try and take C, and it's only Panini on the site to try and hold it down. Now KP needs to do something miraculous here. All five still standing as that spike gets planted. So now working against the clock in a 1v5. Oh. KP already revealed. Dink comes through. This round's over. 1v5, 26 HP. Best she can hope for is keeping this weapon in Cloud9. They're not going to let that happen. Game, really the only player that has been able to get her footing underneath her for Shopify. Hunter Shuri use. Nice shock dart. Going to chip away at Jazzy. 23 health. Needs to back away now. With 10 seconds left on the clock. The kills are starting to come through. That spike finally getting planted. Nothing able to delay it just yet. They're not high. Going to push on through. Not able to finish it out. There it is at the end. A 3k for Han and a second round for Shopify as we go into the second half. Noise over towards B. Nice little pop flash there. Nano Swarm though forces the gate crash out and just completely read the Yoru plays. Katsum is able to finish off what Mel started with the Nano Swarms. Lori there to trade it back. Paranoia. Going to blind out Alexis, but Mel once more there to find another trade kill. So Cloud9. They don't give up anything for free here. It's a one for one. The trade kills land is true as Annie gets spotted out. Two players back towards the defender sided spawn. Should be working hand in hand. We'll see how Annie decides to push on through. It's actually going to be shots through the dark cover. It's a leaping right click. And now it's all up to Flowerful with 34 HP. Spotted out by the alarm bot. A nano swarm, but the spike being diffused. Mel just going to hang on to that one. Flowerful stays alive only for a moment. More protected. Unfortunately, you can't say the same for Shopify. They continue to dance around. It crash. Believe being taken down inside of Garage. Katsumi spotted that one out and will make sure that KP doesn't look to make look to make a play like that. The stampede is currently being heard and the flank is currently happening. But right in front on the side, it's Jazzy. The bounce out the door finds two kills. Flowerful trades it back, but Mel sits Flowerful down, and that's a lot of firepower. Off the board as the... Tanner, don't worry, don't worry. Ten <laughs> rounds in a row. No problem for Shopify. They pull it to OT. No. Scoreline, and well, we finish things out. Hey, that's pretty cool. We go into the next map, and for Shopify, it's a last-ditch effort as they're fighting up towards Garage. But Kat, they're ready to shut down KP. However, Lori, good for the trade. And Alexis, a little lost there with that kill coming on through the Trailblazer. Didn't get a whole lot of value, and it didn't spot out Lori. Although, being there after the trade, they understand... But that Jet's going to be playing somewhere close to mid. And a lot of respect now given to what could be a flank through mid, right? We saw Mel pushing in through the window last time and then having that flank out towards the A lobby. The Flowerful is going to hang out for a second back towards the spawn just to make sure they can try and find all the information they need before hitting this site. Our covers go through. Recon Bolt going to be taken down. It does get a ping off, but unfortunately the Guardian to find a ping there onto the head of Lori Jazzy looking to push forward here swings out towards long sheriff and Hampanini is able to sit one down Mel still going to work though backing up the rest of the everyone in position to shut this play down and the game should all be over unless flowerful can go huge c9 to send him down but obviously everybody loves an underdog story and speaking of underdogs are out on top here attacking out towards the a site flowerful to find the first kill with 10 health remaining I'm going to try and help the team out any way she can. And I think the most important is staying alive. One Nano Swarm in the back pocket. It's Jazzy picks one up. And unfortunately, that Nano Swarm now gone. And a very slow take here. Maybe they were expecting somebody else to be on the site. So they wait for a second. But with that kill coming out towards Kitchen, you know that the rest of the squad playing towards mid for Cloud9. The spike will go down. Shopify will now be forced to defend. I'm still tucked in here for the moment. KP spamming away, but the Cloud9 retake coming quickly. However, Shopify out on top. It's three frags across the board. Nice shots from Lori, but Alexis somehow doubles down and makes this one versus two clutch. Now, doable heal up right now on the wall to work with Spike. Planted directly across from her, but for Shopify, they're playing this together. Trying to isolate these duels, but Alexis has another. Hans on one HP. She's up no and over way. the top, but Alexis somehow pulls out the 1v4. Keeps Cloud9 going is they pick up the pistol bit better for a fight here more prepared for a fight in terms of hp in terms of shields 
And again, the utility as the Boombot goes down. Lori able to go aggressive. Strip the Bulldog away from Jadzi, but Annie is there to battle one back. Spike has fallen and needs to get planted. Lori finally going to get that one down, but Alexis has the high ground and finds yet another. And the clock is ticking. It's a 1v3 for Panini, and the force does not go her way. Annie with three, Cloud9 to two. First kill swings the way of Cloud9 once more. As Katsumi plays on the opposite side of the toxic screen, the orb being heard, picked up, dash onto the side, it not Han, punished for it. As she looks to get on, the rifle round falls just like that. One kill to be picked up, waiting for Flowerful, needing to get something done here. Will be spotted by the turret, Viper's pit goes down, Katsumi able to hop on the board with Alexis. The duelists are down as Flowerful looks to stop a flank and is able to do so with the resurrection. Things looking fairly even, as I said, back and forth we go, Panini able to find one. With the snake bites, and now Annie needs to come up clutch, miss multi kill in rounds previous, but needs to find three in front. She has to do it through a Viper's Pit. Time not in her favor, but she's isolated Han down to this 1v2. But you hear the time ticking. Where is Panini hiding? Annie has no idea. Oh, with that, not going to be able to isolate this duel. The time is already gone, likely. He's looking to save onto the weapon. Shopify. Finally, finding their way on mitted in towards A. As well, Annie re-droning down kitchen. So every space that Shopify once garnered, it's now been rerouted. It's now been placed under the control of C9. And Alexis, working this flank with support, finds one. It's Panini to hold the line. Killjoy locked down up, but Alexis still finding her impact. This is falling apart for Shopify. Is unless they can find these kills here. Han able to find one, unfortunately, now just down to the classic force to back away. But Katsumi pushes forward. He's so sneaky here, up on top of the corner of the wall, but the shots what? are missing. She has to fall, but Han's not looking. Alexis get one, gets one as well onto KP. Now advantage by two for C9, and they have the spike. I have no idea how Jazzy got away with that, and now they're just looking to grab anything they can as Flowerful finally trades a kill back, Mel. There to put that spike right back where it belongs on the floor, finds the second to close things out, and... ...for Shopify as Alexis and Jazzy pushing up towards the main. Panini, she has to contain oh this, God. and she gets them both. Huge for Shopify. Yeah, if Panini is firing on all cylinders, so is the Shopify squad, and we get to take a peek right there. It's all down to Annie, who's able to find one. Now, forced to see you, really, from either site now. B is obviously just have to take the fights and win them, just like this right here, but it's Mel to come out on top. KP will fall. Swings for another hit, not Han goes down, and a Nano Storm to push Alexis off. The spike will go down, but those kills should not be happening. It's Jazzy to find another, and Cloud9. They just always find a way to get it done. I don't know how they do it, but they just keep doing it. And Shopify found the first kill in the round, but now down to the last two. And it's the post-plant meta here for the last two. We saw Snakebite go through. Nano Swarm on the spike as well. It's buying a bit of time. They don't have much more. Panini on top of Grey Box. Able to take down one. Flowerful hops on the board as well. And they're looking to salvage this one. But Alexis says no way, Jose, for one. The resurrection to make it a 2v1. Flowerful needs to come up huge. But it's Alexis again for Cloud9-7. Somehow it's always Alexis when it does come down to these clutch situations. Brings Annie back into play. And the Most impactful sometimes. The Viper's Pit, though, on the other hand, feels a whole lot more impactful. It's Han and Jazzy go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's Han to come out on top, though. Lori looking to go aggressive out towards the spawn, taking the fight right to Cloud9. It's a two-for-one as that spike goes down. They are going to back away. A lockdown comes through. Might just push him out in time, though. So lockdown's actually going to be traded out with the Hunter's Fury. Going to secure that kill. So Shopify, no lockdown to be had, Han. Now playing the high ground. And I don't know if they can get back into that Viper spit. The dash on through, but Annie's ready for it. KP playing aggressive. Able to take down the opposing... Viper and Annie on the way to find an ace, a 1v1 situation to get it done. The snake fight to work around. There's the kill, there's the ace, and Annie gets it done. All right, well, Annie, not only did she ace, but she broke the lockdown hey. with the Hunter's Fury that entire round. All that great right now for Shopify. It's Han first to contact once more. This time it's Jazzy there, not Katsumi. As the knives come online, things get a whole lot more difficult. The resurrection, and even the odds once more, so we will have ourselves a 5v5 with a tag, Lori. Forced to back away, dodges out on the knives. Oh my goodness, but it doesn't matter. The one tap is there right behind it. One knife queued up, and I would imagine we get a reset there if the one taps keep looking that good for Jazzy. 
Uh, Jazzy, so, so crisp. And now for Shopify, Spike is committing itself in towards mid. I think Mel is still in range to have her utility up. So Katsumi able to play around that. It is just the Sage of Alexis anchoring down on the proper. Powerful waiting here for a moment still. Katsumi will check on this, mm. but the timing eludes her. Steps made. The turret's still up. That should shut this all down. This 1v1 could matter in the way of the round, and well, it doesn't go the way of Shopify. KP up the boost, picks off one, and Han another, but it's cut down to KP and Alexis. Because it's not being pumped, maybe not. Maybe he's still hanging on to that one. No, it is somewhere. I guess on the site, it looks like... I think I saw it on A-Site. It's, it's the, there's one in towards main, there's one up towards nest. So okay. both the Vipers committed their utility there. But in way of committing, it's C9 pushing towards mid. The wall isolates these duels. Annie holding the flank stoically. A double there for the Sova. And Alexis just fighting back in. Cuts it down to one. Panini alone clutch at her hands. It's a 1v5 to boot. It's already a player on the hunt. Jazikin's ready for the not working. Annie bests her and sets Cloud9 in the direction direction of match point. And both Han and KP trying to play that head glitch on 410. This is quite possibly their only full buy round here unless Shopify can squeak something away. Able to find some damage against the Bulldog of Jazzy. Katsumi though in the meantime and all that ruckus slowly starting to creep up. There's KP dropping down. Will they find that kill, Han? There to trade it back. So one for one, but unfortunately with Lori falling at the start of the round, and that one there, numbers now heavily in favor of Cloud9 as they've got four remaining. A couple members chipped away at those. So if you could get Annie and Jazzy off the board, things would look a whole lot better. Alexis, close to that resurrection, which does not bode well, obviously, in the ultimate economy. Not great for Shopify. So it's down to the weapons here, and now it's just down to Panini. No way, Mel gets it done. Tries to swap to the Frenzy. Not able to do it. Only 19 health separates Cloud9 from map point, and there it is. That round, it doesn't get a whole lot better when you are the members that died for Shopify. Yeah, you saw Panini was just sitting back towards spawn. She's like, nope, Mel alive. We are not going to yep. be messing with that. Play the time, win it out. But it's actually really good damage that Mel gets in there. Because like you mentioned, Jury, as well as that resurrection. And the only one to speak of is the showstopper. But look at this play. Wow. Aggressive off the wall boost. KP still up here. Are they ready for her? Well, now they have to be, but she falls from her perch. Eats some damage. But still alive. Not really the way that you would like or have to use the healing orb, but the way they have to use it, no less. Locked, I'm going to push everybody off the side and already down a player. Uh, the cheeky strats just didn't work out. It was sniffed out, and Lori is the first of all. It's the showstopper no longer available for this squad. That's it, not Han no longer available. As Jazzy goes right back to it. They talk about her one tap, so she finds another flower fold there to trade it. A 3v4 situation. It uh, should be a comfortable situation for Shopify as they found themselves here so many times thus far in this series. KP, the last one standing in.